So what's good, YouTube? This your boy, the Jiggy Prince. Get jiggy. Yeah. yeah. This video is how to survive middle school. Yeah. I'm gonna like try to sum it up because I don't want to make it too long because a lot of it could like pretty much go self-explanatory for each grade. You feel what I'm saying? But of course, not every grade is the exact same. You change. Boom. Boom. But this is how I'm gonna do it. All right. So I'ma just like <laughs> surviving middle school, right? It's really not that hard, bro. It's really not. I know all the older people tell you the same thing, and you probably like, y'all are yapping. It is not easy. You probably thinking like, yeah, you're yapping, Jiggy. Middle school is not easy, bro. What are you yapping about, bro? You're you're yapping. You don't you don't understand. You're not at middle school right now. You don't get how it is. Actually, I do. And I thought it was hard too, until I realized it really never wasn't. Because certain things that you didn't understand or try to figure out at the time, it was hard for you. I understand. You're gonna feel the same way I feel when you get older, or you could listen to me right now and you can already get it and it wouldn't be a hassle. It, it just wouldn't be a hassle, you feel me? Listen to this survival guide from middle school. You be I, I ain't gonna make it too hard for you. I ain't gonna make it too complicated. It's gonna be short and sweet. I'm gonna just give you the summary. Things I feel like you should do for you to be at the top of your game. You feel me? So you can rule middle school. Never be scared. And then you're gonna be prepared for high school. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. Oh yeah, so okay. Like I said, right? It's not too hard. It's pretty easy. These are the main things you have to do. Pay attention. Be yourself. Ask for help. Pay attention. Be yourself. Ask for help. 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 I said pay attention. Be yourself. Ask for help. For help. Let's go. <laughs> I'm serious. Let's start with sixth grade, right? What I mean by the pay attention thing. And this goes for all grades, actually. But we're going to go into this grade with certain things because that's the start. Like I said, with the pay attention thing, right? Pay attention to whatever that teacher is writing on that board. I don't know what y'all got in school. I don't know if it's all boards. Maybe y'all got big surface probes now and teacher tapping screens. I don't know. I know it's 2024 now. I haven't been to a school, so I don't know what they look like now. But whatever the teacher got going on to present you some work or present you what you learned today, Pay attention. Don't goof around. Get off your phone. Please get off your phone. Do not. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, y'all generation, bro. The phone thing has took over. Like, I didn't get a phone until eighth grade. Most people didn't really have phones like that until eighth grade. Some people even high school. I didn't know what a phone was until like seventh grade. I mean, I had a phone, but like not a smartphone. I haven't really had my own phone for real. I had to take older phones that had no service and do whatever I could with it until like eighth grade, ninth grade. That's when I, ninth grade I started getting service. I was using Wi-Fi on my iPhone four in eighth grade. You guys don't even know what an iPhone four is, bro. It's so small, old, and it's kind of big compared to the new phones now. Like it's thick. No diddy. But yeah, like I said. Please get off your phone. Please don't be on your phone too much. Unless you need it to take a picture of notes, be my guest. You feel me? Don't even watch my videos while you're supposed to be paying attention in class or doing your work. Unless you're done, go ahead. Do what you want, gang. But if you're not done, get off your phone, bro. Don't let your phone distract you, bro. You got to pay attention to school. Like I said, pay attention to your teacher. Whatever teacher got up there, pay attention. I know you want to talk to your friends, bro. I know you want to laugh. I know you want to goof off. I know you want to show your friend a TikTok or a reel or a YouTube short. I know you want to make fun of the teacher. I know you want to do all this stuff because I wanted to do the same thing. But guess what? That does not matter. It's not important, bro. Don't, don't, don't fall into that, bro. Don't. Don't do it, bro. Pay attention to the teacher, bro. Because you know why? 
You can't tell your parents, oh, my teacher didn't teach me this. Or you can't tell your friends, oh, my teacher didn't tell me about this, bro. My teacher hates me, bro. Or, oh, dang, my grades are low because the teacher didn't teach me that or the teacher didn't. No, it's all cap. You're capping to yourself and you're capping to your parents, you're capping to the teacher, you're, you're capping on the test. Because I know I did the same thing. Bro, I promise you the teacher teaches you everything you're supposed to learn. Most teachers, if they are great teachers, which most of them should be, they're teaching you everything that are going to be on those final tests at the end of the semester or at the end of every whatever like period you guys have to take tests for or any pop quiz, boom. They teach you everything you're supposed to learn. I promise you they do. They do. You got to sit down, pay attention, be locked in. Be locked in, bro. Stay locked in, okay? Pay attention to your teacher, whatever they writing down. Write it in your notes or take a picture of it and put it in your notes on your own time. Because sometimes, I don't know if they still do that, but some teachers look at want to see if you have notes. And I know this is a grade for if you have notes. I remember. I don't know what specific classes, but yeah. If you need help, ask for it. You feel me? But, like I said, the pay attention thing, whatever teacher shows up, please, bro, just pay attention, bro. They tell you everything you need to know. After you're done getting what you need, goof off. Do what you want to do. Talk to your friends. Boom. Your work is done for the day. Go ahead. Do what you want to do. I promise you, you have way more time. You'll feel way much better when you pay attention and get what you need to get done. Because your grades are going to get good. If you pay attention, your grades are going to get good. You goof off. You don't pay attention fully. You start falling asleep. You laughing. You talking. Your grades are not going to be good. They're not. Don't even cap to yourself. You know they're not. You know they're not. Don't even cap, bro. You know it's not going to work. I'm trying to be unk, big brother daddy right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm big brother because, you know what I'm saying? Because I understand I went through the same thing as y'all. And I'm sentimental. Like, I relate to you guys. That's what I should say. I relate to you guys. I understand all the stuff that you guys might be thinking. Like, unk don't know what he's talking about. Unk not in middle school right now. Unk used in middle school 25,000 years ago. I understand that, but I was there at that at one point. Bro. We, was all, we all had to pass middle school, my boy. So don't even... Don't even try to play yourself. Like I said, pay attention to school. Do what you got to do. It's going to work out for you. All right. So sixth grade, I understand when you guys get into sixth grade, it is. it seems very scary. You're just coming from elementary. It is a whole different ball game. I understand. Yes, I do. I do get it, bro. I get it. It's real hard when you're first coming in. But look, you're going to understand the transition of elementary to middle school because you got more classes now. Before, you used to be in one class for most of the day, unless you're going to like PE or some specials or whatever y'all call it. But once you get to middle school, you got about like, what, six, six, seven classes, bro? Yeah, it might be smaller than that. I'm not sure, but I remember it being about like five, six, seven classes. And when you get to high school, you, you get a little more. But yeah, like I said, once you get that transition down, you're going to be good, bro. You get the transition, you understand your teachers, where you got to go. Boom, you good, bro. And don't beat yourself up too much, bro. I promise you, don't beat yourself up too much. It's going to be all right. Because once you get to seventh grade, you're going to get it. You're going to understand it. Eighth grade, you are an expert. Eighth grade, you're going to damn near be ready for, for high school. Not even damn near. You are going to be ready for high school. If you do what you're supposed to do and understand, you just bring the same steps with you and just elevate yourself the older you get. You feel me? So, yeah, like I said, sixth grade, it might be a little crazy. You feel me? Don't worry about it, bro. You're going to get it. You'll be all right. I promise you. Whatever you got going on, boy, girl. But don't come into middle school thinking you got to find a crew or a group to hang around or a certain kind of people. No, just be yourself, bro. They're going to find you. I promise you, bro. The right people are going to find you. Don't try to look for the coolest people. Don't try to look for people you think is going to be the ones that's going to make you famous in, in school or make you dis. Don't worry about them, bro. Don't worry about all that, bro. Because sometimes the most famous people in, in school and class be the worst to hang around. Sometimes they don't care about nothing but being cool and being famous, bro. And ain't nothing for that, bro. You need to you need to focus on your future because once you get middle school correctly, bro, and you start thinking about your career that you want to do in your life, you're not too far from that. You're in middle school. You might think you're too far, but you're not. You got to know something. By the time you get to eighth grade, you got to know what you want to do because once you get to high school, that's when you're going to start building what you want for your career because 12th grade 11th grade it's gonna crack down it's gonna hit you you about to hit real life after that but yeah we're not in high school right now i may get to the high school later i know i got middle schoolers and high schoolers that follow me but we're gonna get to high school later right now we on middle school like i said you don't have to find no crowd of people they're gonna come to you bro i promise you you don't have friends 
you're gonna have everybody has friends everybody's gonna have some kind of friends everybody relates to everybody you know what i'm saying you're gonna find your crowd don't even try to be a different person be yourself my boy my girl my boy don't even worry about it be yourself you're gonna understand that when you in middle school bro it's all about finding the kind of person you are but continue to be the person you are you know who you are originally you're going to build off the, your character for sure but don't change yourself for nobody bro don't try to be like nobody be yourself don't try to copy this person because they did this and those people like that who cares do it your way you feel what i'm saying find your own way of doing things you feel me um get a good relationship with your teachers too make sure like they they are attentive to whatever you got to say you need help ask for help bro don't be too scared don't be too shy don't think people are gonna clown you this and that bro if you feel like you scared to ask ask the teacher at the class ask the teacher before class email the teacher any way that you need help and you're embarrassed you can't ask the teacher ask for one of your friends you might think that no that's good at this this work or this and that ask them ask your parents ask your older brother ask somebody don't sit there and struggle, bro. I promise you, bro. It's going to be hard when you do nothing. That's when middle school gets hard, when you do nothing. That's when life gets hard in general, when you do nothing. <laughs> you got to do something, all right? So, yeah, like I said, bro, I understand. Bro, middle school it feels hard. It feels hard. No ditty. But it's not hard, bro. I promise you. As long as you pay attention in class, ask for help, and be yourself. That's it. That's all you need, bro. That's all you need to pass middle school. And you want to get into sports, my boy or girl? Get into them sports right now. Sixth grade, I don't know if you can. I remember when I was in middle school, sixth grade can't do sports. I think that's it depends where you live. But if you feel like you're good at sports and you feel like you're athletic, get into it now. Don't wait too long. If you want to wait, maybe wait till ninth grade. If you want to get yourself, like, you know, ready for it ninth grade into high school but don't wait after ninth grade you wait too long with sports bro you're not gonna be that good unless you just practice it really hard and you really know but try your best to get yourself to being an athlete in middle school okay get yourself into them sports stay active bro you don't want to be unactive and, and make yourself sad and bored all day nah everybody this goes for all grades like you get home do your work don't get home and get on that game don't get home stay on your phone don't get home and do nothing. Do your work first. It doesn't take all night to do your homework. I know it don't. It doesn't, bro. It's not going to take all night to do your homework. Only reason why I take all night to do your homework is because maybe you overthinking it too much. Or you didn't do it in the beginning. Get home, eat your food, take a food bath. Get a little, get a little, you know, settled in the crib. But do your work, bro. Just do it. I promise you, you do it early. You're going to have the rest of the day to yourself. The weekends, you, you'll be lit. I promise you, bro. If you just pay attention to school, do what your teacher asks you to do. You'll be lit, bro. Do whatever you want for the rest of your life. <laughs> for the rest of the days you have, rest of the time you have, you can do what you want. It's so many hours in the day. School does take up eight hours, but you still have more hours to do what you want. You feel me? Even at lunchtime, even at PE, even after school on the bus. You have all that time to goof off, bro. Just just pay attention while you're in class. Just lock in while you're in class and you'll be all right. I promise you, bro. Because I made the mistake by not doing that. I thought I was cool as hell. I was trying to be cool. I ain't gonna lie, sixth grade, I was scared when I first came in because it was, and it was kind of weird for me because when I was sixth grade, there was things called teams where it's like 601, 602, 603. It was like separated the certain amount of kids in each um, class in the grades, right? So my team was all boys. It was an all boys team. So all my classes had all boys. It was kind of weird. They was roasting us. Oh, y'all got a uh, sausage um, class. Y'all got a, uh, oh, shut up. Cause I still seen girls on at PE and like my business technology class. I seen girls in in cafeteria. I ain't really worried about it too much. But um, yeah, like I said, um, make sure y'all get into the sports. You know, be yourself. Middle school is really not that hard, bro. Middle school is pretty easy, and it's like you ever feeling down. Make sure you surround yourself around good people too. Make sure it's not nobody that's gonna make you do something wrong. Nothing like that, you feel what I'm saying? And you guys will be all right, bro. I promise you, bro. There's always the light at the end of every dark tunnel, bro. Whatever you're going through at the moment, it might seem hard right now, but it will get better. It will. As long as you lock in, you stay consistent with your work, with all your other things you feel like you need to do within yourself to be better as a person, bro, you'll be all right. 
but grow up to be a great person, all right? I love you guys, bro. Just know that. If you got any more questions you want to ask, you want me to answer in the comments, go ahead. I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. I got you, man. I try my best. You feel me? But yeah, man, that's how you survive middle school. Pay attention. Be yourself. Ask for help. Pay attention to your teacher. Get your good grades in. Write your notes. Do your notes. Get your homework done. Be yourself. Don't force yourself to be like somebody else. Don't force yourself to be another person for anything. Continue to be yourself, bro. You are lit. Get you some drip. You be alright. Don't don't focus on too much things. That's not that important. Bro. Everything will just come into play by itself. I promise. And ask for help. Me help with anything. Don't suffer by yourself. Don't let. Don't feel like you need to suffer at all. Ask for some help. And with anything, then you'll be alright. Alright. I love y'all. thing I do want to add to, I don't know why I didn't say it. I did the video so many times, and I said this in the previous videos, but I got frustrated, and I just wanted to get the video done. But never forget about God. Never forget about Jesus, man. God is going to be the thing that's going to help you to survive life in general, not even just middle school. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you guys always pray to God. Make sure he can help you to guide you and show you what you need to do so you can pass your classes, show you what you need to do so you can pass things emotionally. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be good. Just pray to God. Thank him for everything. Thank him that you're alive. Thank him that you're here. And just keep asking him what you need. Anything you need, God can help you. Just manifest it through the Lord, all right? You guys are going to be good. I love y'all, man. God bless y'all. Y'all have a great day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Roll the two mil, man. I'm going to do the high school video next, and then I'm going to do a shoe collection video. And that's all I can think of right now. Give me more ideas for more videos, y'all. Let me know what y'all want, bro. And yeah, this is what you can't speak out. Stop it, Oda! That's all, folks.